Father Chaminade's legacy of faith, service, and commitment lives on today through the works of the Marinist family. In 34 countries on six continents, Marinist priests, brothers, sisters, and lay people come together as communities, joined in a ministry of faith, embracing the ideal represented in Mary, the first of all believers in Jesus, the woman who proved that with God all things are possible. Father Chaminade's vision has evolved as the catalyst for the Marinist charism, the inspiration for service to others, spiritual enrichment, faith formation, Catholic values in education, and activism for social justice and peace. This is Father Chaminade's legacy, a story of faith, service, and community, a portrait of the Marinist family in action today. Father Chaminade was wise to insist that the Marinist work not be defined by specific ministries, but by the notion of universal mission. This approach, he said, would keep Marinists and their communities open to any need within the Catholic Church at any point in history. Novo bella alleged dominus, Father Chaminade would say, the Lord has chosen new battlegrounds. His words counsel us to be aware of the world's changing needs, courageous enough to accept its challenge and decisive in our response. To Father Chaminade, who had survived the destruction of the Catholic Church in France during the Revolution, the needs of his time were easily discerned. The Church would have to be rebuilt, and for that, he would need committed, energetic people. He turned to the Sodalities, groups of people from all walks of life, who had come together as communities of the faithful, who had drawn strength from each other, and from their faith in Jesus through Mary, his mother. Chaminade also saw that schools were needed to rebuild the church, to educate children in reading, writing, and religion, and to set them on the path of faith and virtue. These principles, the formation of faith communities and the dedication to Christian education were fundamental to Father Chaminade's vision, and they remain the foundation of our Marinus charism today. Our religious communities, the priests and brothers of the Society of Mary and the sisters of the Daughters of Mary, carry out their various missions and locations around the world. A distinguishing feature for the Marinist order is the involvement of lay people in our ministries. The first sodalities were nurtured by Father Chaminade in the chapel of the Madeleine in Bordeaux. From that historic chapel, which remains a strong center of faith formation today, there have sprung 500 faith communities representing 10,000 lay Marinists in locations across the globe. A distinctive gift left to us by Father Chaminade is the notion of equality among all members of the Marinist family, where there is only one vocation lived out in a variety of complementary gifts and ministries. This principle of inclusion recognizes each baptized person's role as an apostle of Christ. Thus, we work together, religious and lay, some of us carrying out our traditional ministries in parishes, schools, universities, and retreat houses, and others serving in missionary roles. In our many parishes around the world, we respond to the spiritual needs of our parishioners, ministering to our youth, our elderly, our families, and all others who seek to grow in God's grace. Since the days of Father Chaminade, education has been a primary focus of our ministry as we remain dedicated to the Marinist ideal of educating the whole person. As teachers, we strive for ambitious goals, to educate for faith formation, to provide an integral quality of education, to teach in family spirit, to impart values of service, justice, and peace, and to build the capacity for adaptation and change. Most of our religious serve as educators at one of our universities, colleges, or secondary schools located in Europe, North America, Latin America, Asia, and Africa. These institutions are well respected for their excellent academic programs, their focus on ethics, and their opportunities for service learning. We often tailor our educational efforts to meet the broadest needs of our students. In Togo, West Africa, for example, the College Shamanad at Kara provides young people a well-rounded education, one that inspires spiritual growth, helps form conscientious national leadership, and paves the way for economic and social development in that country. 
At the Chaminade Institute at Cayel, Peru, education takes the form of technical training as well as studies in the humanities. This balanced approach prepares young people to compete in the labor market while developing values in their faith and culture. The preparation of men and women for vocations as Marinus religious is another valued ministry. Marinus Sisters in Korea, for example, began in 1979 to build an novitiate of Kai Sung Dung, which now is blessed with four or five postulants each year. Its 47 professed religious are deeply involved in missionary work throughout Korea. While spiritual renewal is experienced by thousands of people of all ages through our retreat ministries, we have focused much attention to the needs of today's youth. A particular example is in the province of Mariba in the United States, where students at Chaminade High School look forward to regular opportunities for reflection, discernment, and spiritual growth. Yet in today's world, we have seen the need to take on new roles. Heeding Mary's counsel to do whatever he tells you, we have offered our hearts and our hands to caring for the poor, the young, the elderly, and the marginalized. We do this in creative ways, ways that promote a dialogue between faith and culture. Our members can be found doing missionary work, teaching family programs, comforting AIDS patients, rebuilding Catholic communities destroyed by communism, creating job opportunities for the third world's unemployed, and publishing textbooks. In other parts of the world, Marinists find reward in the missionary ministry answering the church's call for social justice and the preferential option for the poor. In northeastern India, for example, where the levels of education and social development are among the country's lowest, we operate schools and job training centers. In two other Indian communities, our missionaries devote their energies to caring for street children and poor families. Rural farm workers in southern Mexico, known as campesinos, represent another focus of our missionary work. Here, Society of Mary Religious, assisted by lay campesinos, have created a rural development company that serves the population's spiritual, educational, and social needs while helping them become self-sufficient through their own development and investment projects. A most energetic Marinist association is located in Saragossa, Spain. These young people are dedicated to social justice in the third world and have focused on the nation of Colombia. They raise money to support education, providing scholarships, purchasing school materials, and shipping textbooks, taking important steps towards that country's development. They also help sponsor projects that promote economic growth, solve agricultural problems, and provide health care. Some members of this group have also served the Colombian people as missionaries. In Poland, we support a group of 26 students that meets regularly to study and pray. Like the earliest Marinists in France, they are reclaiming Christianity for their country, discovering the Catholic beliefs so deeply rooted in their heritage. Another dimension of the Marinist mission can be found in the province of Madrid, Spain, where textbooks for Spanish-speaking countries are printed by our Marinist publishing house. Through this operation, we print 25 million books yearly. Our work also includes the operation of the Marian Library at the University of Dayton. This facility houses the world's most complete collection of Marian books, articles, art, music, films, research materials, and artifacts. In 1975, a full-fledged academic program emerged from the Marian Library, the International Marian Research Institute, an affiliate of the Pontifical Theological Faculty Marianum in Rome. Here, students may work towards advanced degrees or enroll in a certificate program. Marianists all over the world today take courage from those who have lived the charism in the past especially from the heroic witness to faith of the recently beatified Marinus martyrs, brothers Carlos, Fidel, and Jesus in 1930s Spain, and Father Jakob Gopp in 1940s Austria. Father Chaminade's legacy lives on today through the many members and ministries of our Marinist family. Father Chaminade inspired his contemporaries and ours to accept Mary as their model for following Jesus 
Shamanad said, we are all missionaries. To each of us, the Blessed Virgin has given a mandate to work for the salvation of our brothers and sisters in the world. He has taught us to work and pray together in community, to open our hearts to God's will, to teach the ways of Jesus through Mary's example, to advance humanity towards social justice, to nurture spiritual growth in ourselves and others, and to leave a legacy of good works and love for each other. God gave the world a powerful force in this man, a visionary, a leader, and reformer an activist, a missionary, a counselor, a collaborator, a community builder, a messenger of the word, an apostle of Jesus Christ, a missionary of Mary. And today we are filled with joy because William Joseph Chaminade has been declared by Pope John Paul II to be blessed.